Welcome to New Life, my word for the week and I would love to share with you. And today is from Psalm 133 and verse number 1. Psalm 133 verse 1. And Bible says, How good and pleasant it is for brethren to live together. I have a question for you. Why do we need to go to church in person or in on Zoom? Why do we have to fellowship with other people? You see, all of us are created beings who need community to survive and to thrive and to grow. God has made us that way. It is important to know that we even serve a God who is also in community. We talk about the Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And in the book of Genesis, after God had created all things and created man, the Bible says that God breathed into us the breath of life. And when God gave everything to man, God said that it was not good for man to be alone. God wanted to create a helper, somebody that the man could connect with. You know, even before that, man had everything, but man still needed someone to connect with. There comes a time that the things of this world will not be able to satisfy us. We need to be connected to someone else. And that is why it is always good and pleasant for brethren to live together in peace and in love. The COVID has taught us a lot of things. When we are isolated and you are on your own, you realize that you don't, you are not yourself because you cannot survive alone. Isolation will, will not help you. And so we need to connect with one another because the presence of somebody will encourage you. Yet mere listening to someone or looking at somebody's face can cause you even to have some special emotion in your heart that will be good for you. And so, as a church, we want to encourage all of us to be part of the community of believers. Whatever you can do to ensure that you are connected to the body of Christ, connected to someone, it is exciting to do so. And I encourage that. I pray that as we go through this week, we will find ourselves how we can connect with someone. Maybe you have to call someone that you have not called for a very long time and encourage that person. Maybe you have to write a note to a friend and encourage that person. Maybe you have to connect with your family, connect with your people around you because it's good for us to live in community. When we are in community, we experience the presence of God. How good and pleasant it is for brethren to live together. I pray that as we go through this week, whatever you can do to be connected to someone else, you do that. Don't let the enemy put a wedge between you and your friend. Don't let the enemy put a wedge between you and your family. Don't let the enemy put a wedge between you and your wife or your husband. Don't let the enemy put any wedge between you and the people you love. Find ways to connect. And as we go and connect with one another, we see the beauty and the love of Christ expressed in our lives. How good and pleasant it is. May this God bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and give you peace. Grant you the heart for you to stay in connection with other people as well. Shalom, peace, and many blessings to you. Hello, and thank you for tuning in to that lovely message by our resident minister, Reverend John Obing. We hope you've been blessed by that message. Before you go, do us one last favor. Hit that little button there to subscribe to our channel. God is doing so much to transform this church. We love you, we're praying for you, and we wish you well. See you in the next video.